Hello. So today we have Loans by Tammy with us. Hi, everybody. How are you? I am doing well. Thank you so much for asking. How are you today? I'm good. It's so awesome. funny because when you um talk to people and everybody has handles now, you know, like their Instagram names. So I'll see people out and I'll be like, oh, hey, Lexi with the curls. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like wait a minute Lexi like that is not your name Lexi with the girls but I'm like that is your name now that it's, is it's your name name. that's how we are identifying with you so that's it yeah so do your friends is that what they call you do they say the whole tagline or do they just say Tammy they say uh Tammy some of them call me Tam you okay. know quite a bit of them call me Tam yeah that's why I asked you that because I just feel like you are, are a Tam <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It's quick. It's easy. I thought about what you told me earlier. You was like, hey, shorten those names. We don't want to, we'll have time for all that. Just say Tam. And that's yes, it. people are. Everybody is so short. We're living in such an impatient world. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate the fact that your patience um, has not made you weary to go out into the community and to be concerned about, you know, our people when it comes to housing and when it comes to, you know, um, just trying to have a better life, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, that's one thing that I pride myself on. I also call myself, you know, the community lender, but I love being in the community because it gives you a sense of knowing, you know, what's going on out in the community. And then it, you know, it just keeps you where you can really uh, in return give help back because you know, you know, you know what the need is for the community. Right. So I, you know, for me, I, I, I love all things community. Now, how do you determine, like, do you go like, um, I know we went and passed out food on Juneteenth, um, Nouveau, she was like, we're gonna give out food on Monday and we're just gonna go um, to like the lower income um properties now I didn't even know they had those kind of properties here in Georgia because I really don't see them but in College mm -hmm. Park they did so mm -hmm. we're knocking on the doors for the people to come out you know and get free food and the kids right. were out playing and it was like a great community day you know mm -hmm. it just felt like oh this is amazing because they were so happy like yes I was like, yes, I need that for you. Listen, it gives you a, a, a sense of self-awareness because whenever you're able to give back, I mean, that makes me feel so good. You know, we're always teaming up with nonprofit organizations, you know, giving food, uh, teaming up with different churches and things like that. Uh, a friend of mine, she goes out every um, once a month over there on uh, down off of Joseph E. Boone. Are you familiar yeah. with that? She uh -huh. goes out once a month. So we always try to, you know, get donations and get others to donate, you know, so that she's able to, you know, supply those meals on a, a monthly basis, you know? Yes, I, that is really nice. I noticed that you and your husband, his support for what you do is like unmatchable. And yes. for that makes my, that warms my heart to see that it's still, you know, men out there that are supporting their women mm -hmm. and pushing them forward because we all need that push, that pat on the back, that hug at the end of the day, right? high five, job well done, you know? Exactly. It's a lot, you know? Like it's a lot. It, it takes so much, uh, so much uh, strain away from me because it's like, okay, we both have the same like mind. We both care about community. We both care about, you know, the youth and mentoring the youth and things like that. So it, it, it's good when you have a strong support system. And, you know, I love him for being, you know, that for me. I, I couldn't yeah. do it without him. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't yeah. absolutely go out and do all the things I do, you know, if he, if it wasn't for him being, you know, that number one supporter. Uh, you could do it though. No, I'm just saying. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, no, it could be done. I mean, I'm glad you oh, did. Yeah. It can be done, but you know, it's I'm so much better when it's done. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, watching this mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't get mad, no. So let me ask you, like, when did you first, um, feel like you know what there was a void and there was a gap that you would be able to fill as far as 
you know, helping people get home loans. And I'm gonna ask you that in a two part question is, what is the biggest misconception that people have when it comes to them being able to, you know, get this home? Because some people just think that it's just a dream, home ownership. It, right. it doesn't even seem like something that will come to fruition. Right. The the biggest misconception would be that, you know, pretty much like you say, a lot of people think that home ownership is not obtainable. Right. That was one of the main reasons why I got into the profession because, you know, you have so many who want to own homes, but yeah. simply right. just don't know, you know, what to do or how to do it. And I tell people all the time, you know, just apply because, yeah, you may not be ready, but we can take the necessary steps to get you ready. But the main thing is, you know, for us is to get more educated and understand yes. the home buying process. I think, you know, a lot of times we don't take the steps needed to really understand. So yeah, we just we, want to we, know the bottom line. What's the payment? Right. We, we, we care, real quick to put it down. What's the payment when it's due? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> So it's, it's very important for us to, you know, educate ourselves on, you know, interest rates. Like right now you have people say, hey, is it a good time to purchase? The rates are so high. It's still an excellent time to purchase because, you know, you're out there, you're, you're renting $2,000 a month times 12 months. You, you've given somebody $24,000. Yep. That can go toward your pocket, you know? So it's things like that that we want to do you know, teach them how to budget. Some right. people make the money, but don't understand the money. So we want to teach, you know, financial literacy so we can right. understand how to make the money work for us. Yes. And um, it was something that was on the tip of my tongue to say, you were talking about not financial literacy and the rent. Budgeting. Oh no, the interest rates. So mm -hmm. what's funny is um, I did loans for like 17 years, right? Mm -hmm. 17 years. I never thought it was going to be a time that I could not get a loan process. Right. Okay. 2008 laughed and showed me a whole thing too. 2009, I was so depressed. I was so afraid the market right. would go back to that, that I was like, I'm just going to do something totally different because I was in love with my job, even though I didn't like doing loans, but I could do a loan in my sleep. You know, right. I get a scenario and boom boom like okay and they'll be like what you know <laughs> it was just that easy for me so when that was taken away from me it just like ripped out a piece of my soul okay like, yeah I need to get dressed I was right. like oh. yeah it took a lot out it really did so what they've done now is they've put a lot more procedures a lot more paperwork in place because you know, back in 2008, a lot of people were getting homes who were not even really qualified to get homes. But, you know, if you had a post- and self-employed people too, look. Exactly. They had tenants. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. So, they, so know, if they, I was like, oh, I'm done. W-2s, what? No. It, come they, on. They exactly. Tenants. I just said, you know, and never mind. But the thing is, the rates are now like at 6%, right? Yeah, right and around six point seven. Yeah, that is great. It's still great because it's still great. they only had the two and three. Per, like that was a bonus, and that was something to me that like when has this ever taken place? Okay, right, right. When I first moved to Atlanta in ninety eight. Mm -hmm. oh, I was working for household finance, and then I came here and worked for who oh, Bank One Financial. Uh -huh. And we were doing personal homeowner line of credits for 24%, mm -hmm. 27%. Exactly. You didn't even have the 18% loan. And you had to have A plus credit to qualify for this high interest rate loan. Exactly. Okay. So I'm like, still 6% is like a steal. It's, it's still, a, yeah. And I, yeah. I tell people all the time, no, we're not going to go back to the twos and 3% right now because unless <laughs> in a pandemic or something happened, but rates are just normalizing to where they were before, you know. Right. Where they were before. Exactly. Yeah. So 
if anything less than the double digits for, <laughs> for me <laughs> coming from, I was raised in the household finance mm -hmm. era, and I ain't even going to get into my age. <laughs> <laughs> but everything was always in the double digits, you know. Oh, yeah. You have the A plus to qualify, like you win these double digits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now it, you know, it's becoming more affordable because you have so many lenders out there that are competing, you know, they're they're dropping the, the credit score uh requirement, you know, 600. <laughs> Some of them go down even lower than that, but you know, you you if you have to, yeah, but at sometimes I, I still want to, you know, educate and tell them, yeah, right. you can get it at that particular rate, but it's going to cost you. You know what I mean? Right, right. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay for it some kind of way. Oh, Somebody yeah. They'll pay for it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. you like, you ain't paying for it. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh -uh. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. so um, I hear from Lil Birdie that you guys volunteer um, and like you got all work. Mm -hmm. You can't be work without no play. So the balance <laughs> is in there and you guys supply food for these events um, on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And that is really nice because again, it's the time community is gathering together at um, Cluster Radio Yes. And and just getting together and having a good time. Like having a good time. Music is always like music that feeds people so it is. It is. And then it's like, you know, we've we've done it so much till we feel like now, you know, this is a part of our family. You know, we look forward to Sunday evenings because yeah. it's like it gives us quality time, you know. Me, I'm working, he's working, but that Sunday relax and wind down, that that's good for us, you know. Yes, it is. It is. You guys are so cute. <laughs> you so, know, you have to have a balance. You have to keep a balance. You know, you can't be all work, you know. What are the like three principles that you live by as far as, you know, to, to keep you having that drive? Because it can be exhausting. You know, doing loans, you're doing a lot of research, a lot of paperwork, you're looking over stuff, and you, now you are entrusted with the responsibility to put this whole family and change their whole life. That's right. a heavy burden to have on your back, right? Yeah. yeah. So when you get up in the morning, you're like, okay, first thing I do, like these three things you have to do every morning. Every morning for us is, is faith. So, you know, we always put up a prayer first. We always, you know, we roll I over. I was going to say that. I don't know how I knew Listen, that. Listen, it, it, it's what we live by. You know, it, it's our faith that comes first. You know, faith, family, and then finances. You know, oh, we, I love that. Faith, F, F, F. Yeah, we have to keep Sound it in like all bad grades. Exactly. It into something positive. Yeah, you have to keep it, in, you know, you have to keep it in perspective. So, you know, we, we try to pray together before we leave the house. You know, we try to, you know, keep God know, first in everything that we do, you know, and, um, and then we look out for family and then everything can fall after that, you know? Yes, yes. Um, you have to, um, hold on one second. Okay. Don't bark. <laughs> Okay, say the last part again about you look out for family. Yeah, so what we do, um, like I said, you know, we we pray before we leave the house. You know, it's faith, it's, it's family, and, and then, you know, finance, you know, then those things. But you have to take care of your faith, you know, because you have to keep your mind. It's the mindset, you know, that's the oh, battleground. Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to cover yourself. You have to cover yourself. You have to constantly feed yourself positive things you know what I mean even before right. you leave out your door and then you know we focus on each other which is family and then everything else is you know kind of falls behind that yeah but, isn't it weird how that works like if you put God first and yeah. you have faith see yeah. that faith instead yes. of asking you have to once you ask have faith that it's going to happen that's it that's and that's what the definition believe. of faith the definition is um, faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yes, 
faith. Right. Not seeing, not expected, unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected. And hope for. So if you can have faith that it's going to happen, then you put your family first. You already yeah. put God first. Yeah. The rest just falls in order. It falls in order. Yeah. It's and you no know, the way you slice it, is it going to work out like that? Right. So a lot of times when we meet, when we meet different people in the community, you know, when we share our, you know, we share our faith with those that we meet in the community, you know, those that allow us to, we share our faith. And then, you know, we walk away with them saying, oh, you know, you guys are inspiring us, but, you know, we, we want to do more than just inspire. We just want right. to help uplift, encourage, you know, empower. So that's why we do a lot of things that we do. I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. It's, it's a good reason to do it, you know? Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what else did I want to ask you about? Hmm. So what is your main source of, like, I know that they're not, like, code calling is not, it's a thing of the past. That's for beginners, right? right. So now you have advanced. And how are you doing marketing? Like, what advice would you give to someone who was, like, new in the loan, the loan business and they wanted to know like okay how do I market myself how do I put myself out there and let people know like hey look at me look at me but I'll right. give away your trade secret whatever going to them and <laughs> but what would advice would you give to somebody you're like okay come on I'm gonna show you the ropes one thing I would say Janelle is that you have to find your niche you know yeah. what I mean? You have to find your niche. And once you find your niche, you have to hit it and you can't take your feet off the gas. Like for me, I'm community lender. That means I'm in the community. You know, you're going to see me present in the community. So, you know, that's my niche. And I'm always, you know, looking for events or looking for new businesses that I can come out and I can show, you know, hey, this is what's going on in your community, you know, and things of that nature. So I would say find your niche. And once you find out what you're comfortable with, what you can promote, put your foot on the gas and don't take it off. Just okay. don't take it off. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. That's really smart. Yeah. Because that's the, that's the whole thing. Um, I think we had my roommates. I remember bringing her in and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to do loans. Mm -hmm. and, and I actually was giving her a couple of my deals like a little more complicated ones to mm -hmm. figure it out, right? Right. She figured it out and she was just doing the most surpassing. So then we started coming as a package deal. Like mm -hmm. they wanted me, I was the top salesperson, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, you can't have me. She has to come. We both right. have to come. And they were like, what? Okay. They just said, fine. As long mm -hmm. as I was producing, they knew I could produce enough. And that's what it's about. Right. Like, and they know a producer is not going to hang around now, producers. <laughs> Correct. Correct. And, and, you know, that's, that's, that's the, that's what it's all about producing at the end of the day. Are you able to produce? Are you able to, you know, turn that uh, lead into a loan? Yes. Now, mm -hmm. let me ask you, because when I, a few years ago, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this industry stuff. I'm going to get back into loans. So I went to work for, I can forget the name of the company, but they specialize in the VA loans, mm -hmm. all VA loans. So they were, I read the book, I did mm -hmm. the workshop and, you know, I was ready to go. <laughs> and I don't know, I didn't really ask about pay. We had like a small little weekly stipend. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was like, you know, once you get your deal, you'll pay that back. Mm -hmm. I got that commission check. I had charged all these fees, right? Mm -hmm. And I think I got like a third. <laughs> if it was a third. And I literally looked at my check and I started crying. I was like, <laughs> where's my money? I yes. worked so hard. Yeah. And this so the owner called me, you know, he, he called me and he was like, he, he was Indian. He's like, Jonelle, he's like, what can I do? And I said, I have to feed my family. Oh, no. Because <laughs> before the money was just flowing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then mm -hmm. I was like, what is this? He said, so what do you want me to do? What percentage? I was like, half. He was like, okay. no. Look, he said, nope. 
before I could even get half out, he was like, no. I was like, half? <laughs> but he did give me more money. And, yeah. and I'm like, you know, he was dead wrong for that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, so are they testing you? And yeah. so that's the officer to see like, oh, she just gone. But I was like, no, no. no. I you have to know your work. You know your you work. An $80,000 a mobile home. Yes, you know what you bring a mobile to mobile home for 280. Now you know that must have been a bad mobile home. But Baby. when that came to me, her debt ratio was all of this world. I was like, we gonna sell this truck. Uh-huh. We, we finance that. I had her do all these things, and we and they were like, She's not gonna get that loan done. That hmm. loan was closing. Okay, and everybody was surprised. And you not giving me my due? Like, Come what? On. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So with the brokers, because after the pandemic, is there a different type of mentality? Like, if you're going to work in this field, do you just got to have that thick skin or, like, wait your turn to grow? How does that work now? You definitely have to have thick skin in this business. And then also you have to have some type of hustle about yourself because, you know, you do have some brokers that will give you uh, some loans to work, but they'll give you a certain percentage of that. But, you know, for me, who wants more, quite naturally, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to generate my own lead so that right, I'm right. expecting more. But it's like, when you know your worth, when you know what you're able to produce, then you can you can say, hey, listen, this is what I think I'm worth. Right. You know, so right, right you know, right now when you work with brokerage, there are a lot of fees associated. So you have yeah. to account for all of that. I'm like, so, what in the world? These fees. No. Oh yeah. It was <laughs> just ridiculous. I mean, mm -hmm. it wasn't even close to half and half. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm using your license, but I am getting all of the work. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, I'm, I'm no. going out here. I'm hustling. Yes. And I'm processing my own loan because the processors, they were not like when I was a loan processor. I was like processing stuff. Everything was going so smooth. Like, mm -hmm. and now everybody is just so lazy. Yeah, like, did you call? Did you verify? Did you get the stuff? Like, so I just get it myself. Like, no, don't touch right. my files. Don't even touch them. <laughs> <laughs> so when you work with a brokerage, um, you it depends on your level of what you produce. Okay. Meaning, uh, some of them would provide a processor for you, but that means you have to be producing anywhere between seven to ten loans a month. And you know, right. in this business, that's not always. I mean, paid. that's not even realistic. That's ridiculous. That yeah. that's the only way you can get a processor. I yeah. don't like that. So for me, you I know, I, have, four, I do my own four. process. I do my yeah. own processing. You yeah. can say that processing fee. Yeah. Do you, do you put the fee, do you get this processing fee for doing it yourself? No, you or they don't even have it on there. No. <laughs> no. Look, that make me feel good. Like, yep. And I got a bonus. Like, yep. <laughs> uh -uh. Line item. Like, I want to see. <laughs> nope. They give you and them I'll coins and the they give you them coins and it's okay. This is it. This this is your portion. And there how it long is. have you been doing loans? Oh, since about um 2018. 2018. Okay. Yeah, but I've been in the business for over 15 years because you know my husband was uh an appraiser. So I've been in the real estate. Oh, he was an appraiser. Mm -hmm. So I've been in real estate over 15 years, but I've been doing, you know, mortgage loan you know, right. loan officer since 2018. Now, why did he stop appraising? Because he opened up his own HVAC and uh, heating. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he was like later for that. So yeah. Was, and that's another thing. I always tell people that the nine to five mind does not understand the entrepreneurial mindset. No. And I mm -hmm. think that if you have a couple and you have like, Okay, he goes to the office from mm -hmm. like eight o'clock to the bank. Let's say he's a banker from nine o'clock and the bank closes at four. Mm -hmm. and he's home by 4.30 and he's not worried about what happened at the bank because mm -mm. today is a new day. All transactions are sealed up right at that window. <laughs> right. And here you are, the community loan officer. So you're, you just getting your day started at four. 
pretty you much. Want to ask on uh, to over all these little events yeah. and see you can see and talk to. You exactly. Know? And then they're like, what are you doing? Like, no, you're not going to stay home and sit and talk and watch TV with me. No, no I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm no. trying to get paid. Like, I exactly. You don't want to be stuck to this one income. And you're happy mm -hmm. to check. This one check you're going to see every time you get paid, the exact same amount. I was never happy with that. No, no. Yeah. I did that for 16 years. I was a department manager for 16 years. Wow. And it was like, it was just like robotic. Robotic. Yeah, you want you yourself know? to be limitless, full of life. One day yeah. you over here dealing with this lady gets crazy. Then you over here dealing with this professional. Yes, it's so here. diverse. So you deal with so many, it's multi-personalities that you're dealing with daily, you know? So my I, husband was like, let's try this, you know? And, and the rest is history. So that is you know, so, where are you guys from? We're both from Mississippi. We're both from Mississippi. What? Uh, That's why y'all so sweet. Uh, <laughs> what part? Yeah. So what part, what part of Mississippi? Um, we're from Natchez. We're about an hour and a half. I was getting Natchez. ready to say Natchez too. <laughs> I have yes. friends in Natchez. When I was a little girl, our best friends moved from California to Natchez, Mississippi. Mm, yes. So I don't know where I was in the summertime. Yes, down there. Natchez eat that good old cornbread. <laughs> Hattiesburg. Yes. Um, Hattiesburg. I was all over the, the yes. <laughs> every summer and then i got older like my mom must not like me very much you said she sent you all the from sunny california to natchez mississippi to uh enjoy my summer life that yeah. ain't no way for a child to live yes it is because you can get down there you can play everybody gonna you know, we were getting whippings back then that's when they had switches and you was getting in trouble you was getting the whippings okay uh, uh but look it. at you now. Look at you now. Them whippers did some good, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when um I think that's how I became the, the queen of I be other people's kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, don't leave them with me. You know I'm gonna discipline them. My dad used to be like, Yeah, if she get out of line, just go ahead, do what you gotta do. I was do like, what you have to do. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's the motto. I yeah. Love it. That's why y'all so sweet. Up. so he's he's oh always God, been a, a we hang up i'm gonna be like okay now wait a minute now yep. from natchez what yeah. he's always been an entrepreneur even like right now our son our baby son is 18 so he has his own hvac business what? So he, his dad has taught him to trade so that's what we do in the community we I you know partner with uh, different mental programs because we're trying to, you know, college is not for everybody. So, oh, yeah, it's so not for everybody. Entrepreneurs, right. We're not getting, the way it's going now either. It's just like sometimes I feel like the kids don't start learning until they get to college. Until you get to college. Yeah. I talked to some high school students that are about to graduate. And I'm like, there's no way y'all are going into the real world. You, they I'm don't talking, have a clue. They're not ready. I'm talking and you're speaking. And you're going to go get a job. I was like, you're getting fired. You're getting fired. You're not getting hired. <laughs> it was like, oh, you're going to get beat up by them kids. Yeah. Before I knew the kids was crazy. Okay. Yeah. I probably yeah. will. Now that the pandemic had us watching the TV and online and we see these kids mm -hmm. think a little bit differently. So I'll probably be a little bit nicer. Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot differently. <laughs> yes, they do. They yeah didn't. so congratulations to you and shout out to your son like yeah just really um trying to make it you know finding his own lane like he, yeah and that means when they emulate you i feel like they're proud mm -hmm. they're proud of you and they want to do what they can do and they mm -hmm. see that you're being successful and they want to be successful Okay, exactly. everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to yeah, be. Well, you mostly to be everybody. Out. Some kids just want to be late. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, like you say, they emulate what they see. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and you have to be careful it. what you put out there, you know? Yeah, I told somebody, if you got a job sleeping, you get fired. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you know, that's bad, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So tell everybody how to find you. I want to know the website first. 
All right, guys, you can reach me on loansbytammy.com. Um, that's my website. It'll take you directly to uh, my application website. Uh, you can also find me on social media at loansbytammy.com as well. Um, and if you want to call me, 404-218-9494, uh, my motto is I'm with you from the time you start that application until you get those keys. So, you know, always contact me, your favorite community lender, Loans by Sam. Peace. <laughs> I love it. So also, um, the community events, do you have anything coming up that you want people to see you at? Um, or you just want them to tag you on Instagram when they know about events that you could be at. Absolutely. I do another segment of what's called uh, Fantastic Finds. Every Friday, the different businesses ask me to come out and spotlight their business. So um, I'll be, you know, starting that back up in July. And then also- Fantastic I, Finds? Yeah, I call it Fantastic Finds because I'm going into the community and I'm spotlighting, the, you know, the businesses there you know, bringing awareness so people can know, hey, I like that restaurant in your, you know, in your area or whatever's going on in the area, you know, we right. spotlight on uh, Fridays on, um, at 12 o'clock. And then also I have a home buying seminar coming up in July. I'll post uh, information on my media. And then I... Um, now, I weekly, do you do financial literacy on your, um, on your television show? I do some of it. Uh, I do it briefly, but um, I'm going to get into a segment where I go deeper into, you know, finance, uh, financial literacy, where I want to talk a little bit more about budgeting and what that looks like. Um, yeah. I do have a budget. I don't class like that word. Oh, you just heard my ears. <laughs> but the, the thing B is, word. Just say the B word. The B word. We have to. We have to uh, account for everything, and I think that's what we uh -huh. make a mistake at. We don't think about the small things, like you know those subscriptions to those different. Uh, you know, I just can eleven subscriptions. That was about to hit my phone. Yes, I, stuff I ain't even heard of. Or no, just can click it so easily now. Double tap on the side, and then that's it, and you got it. it. Mm -hmm. They didn't know the subscription is ended and you don't even know the name of it to go back. But exactly. I figured out how to find them all on my Apple phone. So uh -huh. like, cancel, 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 cancel. Cancel. I stumbled yep. across it looking for the locate your key. Um <laughs> yep. I tell people all the time, why are we being so loyal to these darn uh -huh. cable companies? They're not loyal to us. They give They're us not. a a pass for about a year and then they move on to the next new person. So, hey, move on. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, you know. move on. I finally dumped that cable. Finally. They're like, why are you still paying cable? And I was like, oh, I just need to turn the channels. Now I got Hulu Live. I was like, what? Hulu it's Live. Better. It's so much better. It's so like, much. It, the same things come on. And I was like, exactly. oh my goodness. Exactly. And the same stations. I was like, yes. Yeah. See, I did not have you educating me, Tammy. Yes, stuff. but that's what we do. You know, we, 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 I show you ways to find the money because the money is there. You oh. just have to know where to look to find your money. Okay. So that's what I do, you know, with the B word. Nah. <laughs> oh, you like there, it was all right there. Uh-huh. Sometimes I do go shopping and I'm like, you know what? That was a whole, whatever mm -hmm. I need to really buy that I didn't mm -hmm. do. But I mm -hmm. went and did all these little things that I really didn't even need. Like, <laughs> okay. You'll be amazed. Store, be just having me like, okay, okay, okay. Right. And it's so much cheaper now than it used to be. Yeah. yeah. All these online stores, they're competing. Yes. You, know, you probably can't wear but once, but hey. I know. And sometimes for that price, you're like, okay, I can wear it. I can do it. <laughs> I mean, you gonna spend it done. that on um barbecue? Come on, <laughs> One come place. on! And you cannot eat out at a restaurant. I went to my favorite restaurant, which is Toast, um, on Lenox. Mm. And let me tell you, I go there by myself. I sit mm -hmm. at the bar and I just eat and I just like melt. And yeah, bananas, chicken, and waffles. Eat. I went melt. there yesterday. They're actually yeah. pretty good. I like yes, it. there is so I went to the location in McDonough. 
-hmm. Yes. Which um, what did you eat? I had the uh, I did the shrimp and grits. I okay. did the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the waffles were good too because I sampled my friend. She was eating the waffles, so I sampled hers. But uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like that it. strawberry stuffed cream cheese waffle. Mm -hmm. That's what and I then had. they ordered the beignets. The pudding is my favorite waffle mm -hmm. the peach cobbler waffle and the banana pudding waffle okay i'm gonna have to try that one. Yes. Gonna try that. <laughs> speaking of community yes i wish i would have talked to you earlier because um shaquille O'Neal had his his three-day camp oh wow um, and that would have been a good place for you to be yes well, I love. Are, but don't kids are there no parents are really there but the sheriff county office okay Mm -hmm. The Henry County Sheriff Department do not play. We do not play in Henry yes. County. Yes. Yes. Are you in Henry County? Yes. Where? Stockbridge. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't play. And um, um, Scand Scandred. Mm. Period. Sheriff Scandred. He is he, that's everything. He he's is about everything. that business. He's about that business. He is. He. Mm -hmm. I love him. So yeah. I was hanging out with him and Shaq and uh, Roddy White and mm -hmm. they had Otis. He used to play for the Braves. Mm -hmm. Can't think his last name. But they were just really trying to teach these young people and educate them. And yeah. I love similarly, like you just want to educate grown people. Yeah like you're doing little kids when it mm -hmm. comes to this because with rent you just pay your rent and you know you see yeah. what you get when you do the little walkthrough right but mortgage is hard it's very different it's very different you go wrong and you yeah. have to sure you have insurances on things and you know i listened to this guy the other day on the radio and he said mm -hmm. um the mortgage is the maximum no, he said the mortgage is the minimum, but renting is the maximum because he said you're going to pay the maximum price. But if anything happens, you're just going to dial that phone. Uh huh. And call. He said and call. the mortgage is the minimum. You get to pay the smallest payment just for the mortgage, but mm -hmm. the maximum is everything else that could go wrong. Everything that could go wrong. So it's, you just. <laughs> it's, it's, telling it's, people do not feel bad for not being homeowners because no the maximum he because was like, everybody to do is pick up the phone right everybody doesn't want to be homeowners either so yeah. and, and and that's fine too but for those that want it and those yeah. that you know want to know how to just get the local handyman if once you get your team together if something right now then you're good to go but yeah. if you don't have a team and that goes back to community, mm -hmm. back to relationships, back mm -hmm. to networking, and then you, if you are that type of person, knowing what's going on, you're going to yeah. know who the guy in your community is that build the fences. You right. want to know the guy. And now that I'm um, on the South side, I call my girlfriend and she know everybody like, yes. you know the guy for the stove. That's she, it. The fences. She's like, got so this thing, I'm worse. I'm you like, gotta I be, know all of this stuff. You have to be connected. And it's all about networking. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. Everything is about relationships. It's everything. about networking. Everything. Everything. In Atlanta, I don't know if it's an Atlanta thing or what, but I'm a relationship builder. Yeah. So I like to build relationships with people because I get that from you. you never know who knows what. Like y'all don't want to just hi and buy. I'm like, no, let's talk, Benny. Let's, mm -hmm. let's let's have some tea. And let yeah. you give me the tea and I might give you some tea, but you know <laughs> she you, said I might. I might give you I call I that, might, I your might. tea is worth an exchange. Sometimes it's not even exchange on the tea. Come like, on. I mean, Come you on. top tea and you giving me like. Come on. Google News. Like, what? That's Google ball. Oh, <laughs> Google News. <laughs> give me something I can use, girl. Don't give me something that I can dangle up from TMZ. Myself. Like, TMZ. Guess Come what I got? Here. Yeah, you giving me the, um, mm -mm, no, I don't want Google News. So, uh -uh. Um, I give you the tea if we can do an even exchange. But most of the time, it's not even apples and apples, okay? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's yeah. not. I'm very proud, though, you know, of what you're doing out here. And 
it's going to get recognized. I think this is your year. Now that I know you're in Henry County. Yes. Acclamations come around. Yes. Call yeah. me. Uh, Tammy me okay. Tammy Appreciation Day. Yes. The time is coming because they, people won't know until other people toot your horn for you yeah. and blow your horn uh, for you and let you know. Shaq said he did 150 event, events so far. He is the, um, he's like the director of community affairs mm -hmm. for Henry. Yeah, Henry and Clayton, yeah. Yeah, who knew that he was yeah. one of, he's I so said involved. I've been to one event. You yeah, have he's, he's, very involved. he's very involved. Out here. And he's so yeah. serious. I really, I love the him that he has become. You mm -hmm. know, my friends since he was 24. Yeah. And to see him grow into, you know, manhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all of that. It's like, wow. Like, okay. And, yep. I love the, I love his heart for kids. I love that. I love that about yeah. him you know he has a, a big big heart for kids he's he always doing kid. something yeah he's always doing something for the kids so i love that i love he that he was like okay we're gonna have a race everybody that's eight stand on the line the coach was like wait a minute you not eight you not eight you know everybody <laughs> wants to be eight because he right. said i got some money in my pocket that's so all you have to win and they didn't know he was going to do each age group, but they was like, we ate, we all ate. He was like, that's oh, it. I not eight years old. <laughs> yeah, I love the kids. That will make you want to stay oh, yeah. community oriented mm -hmm. and family oriented, and just seeing families together. Yeah, just knowing that you can impact somebody's life, knowing that you can have, you know, uh, something, you can do something to encourage somebody. And that's, to me, that's, that's, that's priceless. Now, do you have a um a special place for the single moms? Do I have a special place for single moms? Yeah, like a special type of love for the single moms. You yes. know, it's always that one person, either it's the senior citizen or it's uh, the single mom. It's never the single dad. No, <laughs> I'm going to say yes, because I was a single parent. I came here in 98. I Me was too. single until 2010. I had three kids by myself, um, me and the good Lord, right, <laughs> and, uh, right. you know, he allowed me to purchase a house and just still maintain with three kids. So single parent, uh, single female, that's, that's big with me. Okay. Know? Okay. Okay. And also I'm going to uh, talk to the people at radio. Yes. What they have going on so you can connect with the single parents. So. Yes. I want to do one more thing. I, I need your help. I want to do like a podcast. Uh, okay. I know everybody's doing podcasts, but no, I want to do a good thing though. Like a, a, a panel where there's married, there's single, uh, a combination. I want to call it Sister Girl, Let's Talk. Right. Um, just open, safe place where you can have dialect because right. I believe that there's such a strong need, you know, for us to really talk about it from all aspects, you know what I mean? Right, from right. The single woman, the married woman. So, you know, sometimes when you're in church, church will teach you either how to be single or how to be married, but what happens in the in-between? How do yeah. you bridge that gap? So, you know- And I, the adjustment, a lot of people have a uh, time with adjusting. Yeah. From being used to being married, yeah, like me, I was independent for ooh, all these years. I was here by myself. You know, my pastor, he did our counseling. He was like, okay, now you not, you can't be independent no more. You got to understand how to, you know, <laughs> depend on your husband. a little you know? mediator. Yeah, so. And know. that's probably necessary. Sometimes I'm like, if we got to be having a mediator and stuff then. Yeah. How about you just go? <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, you just want stuff to sink and it's yeah, like, you know, the math that. ain't mathing. It ain't mathing. Listen, it's, it's not happening. Cause at this okay. age, you just too old to be mm -hmm. explaining what, why you did this. Cause I did, I, that's why. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have an answer. I just did it. I, I right. Did it. Like you want me to explain? Yes. I actually do want you to explain. What? No. Bye. bye. Just forget it. It's, we're, Goodbye. We're, we're done here. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it was so good talking to you tonight. 
We have to talk more often. You're going on vacation? Yes, I'll be leaving for uh, Florida um, this, well, tomorrow. Well, yeah, pretty much tomorrow. Yes. And I'll be back Sunday. But yes, let's get together. Let me know where you are because I, I see you in the community a lot. Oh, I would I'm love to. I am the community. I'm in these streets. I, listen, we outside. I would love to be outside with you. So let me know. Yeah, sometime. I didn't know. I did not know you guys were just outside. Like, you know, yeah. every time I see you, you inside. <laughs> that's because i'm working but we outside. Right. yes okay yeah no i'm outside to work so yes. i'm out it's because i'm you yes, always working you, you always working i love it. To somebody to somebody else you know i'm connecting the dots that's yes I, i'm the connector come on, i like that yeah i like that has so many things like jakeem who did the photos this is loans by tammy and i'm upscale with janelle 